Hi, my name is Eric, and this is Adventures in Golf. For this episode, we're in the middle of nowhere. I mean, the middle of Minnesota. We're gonna play a course called Balhepburn Golf Club, which is a homemade American take on a Scottish original. And we're gonna play golf, but it's not called that. It's called sheep golf. Guess why? Somehow we have boarding passes, and now we're going. This is insane. I have no idea what to expect. The adventure always begins on the tarmac. Four rounds of golf one day. 207 shots. Start your watch, off you go. Thank you. You wanna go first? Sure. sure. Why would you ever stop golfing? It's definitely an adventure. My crew and I are on our way to New York Mills, Minnesota to meet up with Howard Legreed and his wife Lou at Valhalla Farms, their family-owned sheep farm. Why a sheep farm, you ask? Well, Howard has spent the last 35 years designing and building a nine-hole golf course smack dab in the middle of this 150-acre sheep farm. And I'm here to play it. Hi, I'm Eric. Hi, I'm Lou. Glad Hi, Lou. to meet you. Welcome. Nice to meet you, too. Howdy, I'm Hi. Howard. The Legreeds immediately welcomed us in with a farm fresh breakfast and a little history on how a sheep farmer from Norway got himself into the golf business. We started with three tin cans and then we've made a golf course. We've changed it some over the years. Is the name your last name? No, Bell Hepburn was the name of my grandfather's farm in Scotland. And see, he's Norwegian and the whole farm got named Valhalla and all the Norwegian stuff. But when he put the golf course in, I put my foot down because that was started in Scotland, and I'm Scottish. We're gonna go check out the golf course now, and honestly, I have no idea what to expect. I'm really excited. This is hole one. Hole one. 106 yards. Okay, here we go. Name is the sheep shed, and the reason it's called a sheep shed is there used to be a shed there tornado came and it took that and it took the outhouse from way back there up on this road so there's no sheep shed anymore. Okay. Oh, you play over two fences. You play over the fence. So you're, you're basically endangering sheep if you shank. The sheep do two things. They want to lay on a hill. Yeah. Or they, want to, or they want to lay next to the woods in the shade, and so you have a tremendous amount of fecal material. Right. So with help, we fence this one in, that one in, and the one down in the corner. Okay, and to keep them out. Yep. The greens are pretty thick, but basically the idea is the hole's big, Cups are six and a half inches because you got to have a little bigger cup for the putting surface. Right, right. Our tea time wasn't for a couple hours, and as our tour continued, I soon realized the name Balhepburn wasn't the only thing linking the course to Scotland. The fences and the kind of rolling hills and, you know, the wind and the rain, it just keeps reminding me of Scotland here. This is so cool, man. This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in golf. The nice thing out here is we don't use all proper golf etiquette when we're playing. <laughs> See, that's, I mean, the, that's the difference. When others are walking by, I mean, you rib them when they're putting on the green and right. they're giving you grief when you're teeing right. off. When does the heckling start? Right away. First hole. <laughs> the Balhepburn Golf League was formed six years after the golf course was created, with some members calling it their home course for over 20 years. This is how we figure out who our partners are. We draw oh, ear tags. It's a cattle ear tag. A cattle ear, ear tag. tag. All right, so let's draw cattle ear we'll let numbers. You, you grab a number. Okay. After drawing, we were ready to play. My partner, the big man himself, Howard. There you go. Oh, that looks nice pretty ball. good. And we're off. Good job, partner. That's the big, that's the big hole. <laughs> How does the bigger hole change the game? If you had an armor-sized hole, I think the scores would be substantially higher. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to do that. This is a practice round or this is a real thing? <laughs> oh, yeah. Did we get mulligans today? No, you know, you know. 
I don't know, did you get your mullins yesterday? <laughs> when you're in Howard's backyard, you play by Howard's rules, which include a five-stroke penalty for climbing a fence and a 10-stroke penalty for leaving a gate open. Do you ever wonder how he made this thing happen? I can't believe how much work he does put a ton of work in. I mean, it's right. pretty pretty good for all of us. That's one thing that's really re unique about the course is that, you know, for the public, Howard's never charged. Since you don't charge any greens fees, are you going to effectively lose money? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Want me to move any of those? No. Nah. Oh, oh. Nice all right. Oh, and one last rule. Absolutely yeah, no good, gimmies. Right? Is this good, good, or we got to... Oh, oh, Howard never gave you any gimmies. You got to prove right. it. Don't hit the plank. Oh, <laughs> all the you all were kidding? The you thought you were kidding? <laughs> so that was a 100% successful heckle. And 100% and the plank. Right. <laughs> oh, see, I knew I was going to hit a bad shot. Should be laying right up on top. I've seen it bounce. There's pine cones around here. No, those aren't pine cones. Those are sheep turds. Those are sheep turds. To be clear, the fences around the greens is what keeps the poop off of them. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Harley, no! <laughs> I think it was in! <laughs> That was a great round. Thank you, guys. Good job. Thank, Thank you, you so right. much. Nice Everybody, job. I would take my hat off, but I don't yeah. have one. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> <laughs> well, that brings us to the end here of a wonderful day of sheep golf. And no more fitting place to leave you than the golf club graveyard, where the ghost of the boogeyman, I mean bogeyman, howls every night.